just north of Nazare, in the woods where they've planted thousands of trees to keep the sand dunes from moving. We arrived in the early evening and set up the hammock for the first time and enjoyed a really lazy afternoon of just reading. to a nice breeze and we planned our day in Nazare. Hey! But of course, we needed breakfast first and this was a really good hearty breakfast. I love the breakfast. some pastel de nata, which, as you'll know from our Porto video, are just some of the best pastries. We love them. We eventually managed to prize ourselves away from this beautiful overnight spot and we found some lemons that someone was giving away on the side of the road and so I took some of those because they were huge. This is where some of the world's largest ever recorded waves have been surfed and so many surfing world records have been broken. Now, if you're wondering why you can't see any of these 100 foot waves it's because the swell comes in the winter so when we went it was very flat but it was still amazing to see the location and inside the lighthouse that is typical of all the pictures of Nazare with the waves crashing over the top was a cave with an exhibition of loads of surfboards that have been donated by the surfers who've broken records and won competitions and underneath there's a story about the waves they caught and their introduction to surfing and what it means to them. 